Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. I'm just waiting for a delivery of some darts. Should be coming any time now. Let's have a look, see if I can see him. Well, I think he's on his way now. Yeah, here he comes. <coughs> The new ballista weapons for Dad's review channel. I'm off to kill some carvey bastards. Thanks, Master Chief. The new ballista darts. Oh, you're off now, are you? Good luck with that killing. I love your green outfit, but oh, he's gone. I thought he was taller than that. Could have sworn he was supposed to be eight foot tall. Maybe they made him in proportion to your TV screens. That must be it. But he does like green, so he can't be that bad. Let's check him out. So there's four models in the Ballista range. I'm reviewing the Style 1 in this video. 25 gram, the 90% tungsten. They're also in 21 and 23 gram in steel tip, 18 and 20 gram in soft tip, and they retail for £50.95. So the darts come in this cardboard packaging, and as it says on there, worn and extreme grip, symmetric, hex shaped cross section for extra grip. And like I said in the uh, unboxing, it didn't feel like as if it was that aggressive to me, but maybe to other people. What's that? Try the Rust Bray Dart Scorer Pro app. So there you go. So inside there's this clear plastic tray and the little point holder. And the darts fit with the Gripper 4 two-tone stems and the Ballista Ultra Fly Flights. So the darts fit with a silver point and it's a straight barrel dart. As you can see it's got a fairly flat square bull nose and it's got this kind of like plus or cross shaped grip etched into it. Like I said they are quite similar to the Vox Checkmate darts um, but when you look at it from that part you can see it's hexagonal in shape but I don't know if you can see close enough you can see like little sections like sticking up and it's the corners of where the uh, the plus signs have kind of like been etched in and I think when you look there you can see all them little sections sticking out and that is really where the grip is coming from you might be able to see better in this picture what I mean like all the little corners kind of sticking up at the end of the video I'll show you in a way that you can kind of expect experience the grip without actually buying the darts and when you're just holding it like that it's not like that aggressive but obviously as you run your fingers along it you feel like them little corners so it does feel more grippy when you do that but whether it'll feel dead grippy when I come to throw it I don't know it I would still say it's a high level grip but it's not it doesn't feel like extreme to the point where it really can dig into your skin but it may be different when I come to throw it but uh, I quite like the look of these actually <laughs> I mean I do like kind of bonkers style darts anyway but that to me is quite interesting but like I say it's not totally unique because Vox Checkmate has got the same kind of style and there's the Gripper 4 two-tone stems and the Ballista standard shape ultra fly flights right so as you know on this channel we always like to give you proper real-time super close looks at the darts and this one is a very interesting one to look at close up there's that flat bull nose and as you can see it's that hexagonal shape i'll get it around the side there for you and that's what i meant by the kind of like edges sticking up and you can see that as you go along the dart but that whole pattern is like a, a plus or cross shape and obviously you can see the milling marks there but it's quite interesting the way the light plays on it and it's almost the full length of the dart 
and you get to the end you've just got that tapered section but very interesting uh, design for a dart let's see if I can get a bit more from the side there obviously when the light's reflecting on it <laughs> it affects the exposure on the camera because it's reflecting into the camera lens but there you go that's the super close look at the unicorn ballista darts all right here's an extra close-up of the volute point so and get it in focus and it's basically like a point that's just been kind of twisted it's the first time i've used these points it's hard to get it in focus here but you can see the point there it's kind of like a, a triangular twisted shape first time for me using these so i'm going to be interested to see how they stick in That's fit with a 28mm volute silver point. There's a slight taper on the bull nose, that's 2.4mm, and then you've got the hex grip, which is around about 37.3mm, and then there's a tapered section at the end with a kind of like an arrowhead cut, that's 7.4mm, length 47.1mm, width varies 6.4 to 7.4. Twenty five point zero six grams, twenty five point zero five grams, and twenty five point zero six grams. So that's pretty amazing, actually, with all that machining. Very nearly perfect. Full setup, twenty six point seven four grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. It may be more grippy to some people, but for me, I think it's just about going on to a high level grip, so 7.5, but it's one of them strange grips and there's so many flat parts to the barrel that it kind of cancels out some of the grippy parts so I don't know I'll be interested to hear what other people think when they get it well I've got a treble on the last start so I check on them points mm. I thought they'd be sticking in harder than that. Came out quite easy. The first time I've used them volute points. I thought it'd be really sticky that, but it's not really. Um, as for the dart, I definitely don't think it's a an extreme grip. It looks extreme, but there's so many like flat square cut sections, as you can see. It's really only like the corner bits, like I mentioned, before that you're feeling the grip from is that treble one treble one champion oh. so it's like all them little corner bits there and that's just what you're feeling but it's not sticking in the fingers releasing easy enough and the best i can probably describe the feel is is maybe kind of like staggered pimples along the dart um it's actually quite a nice feel actually yeah i think i might enjoy having a throw with these it's unusual un a different kind of a grip that i've tried before but it's maybe just above high medium just verging on the high level i wouldn't say it's like super aggressive the only thing I can probably think might be an issue for some people is it there's just a slight hint of non-uniformity to the grip so that may be a little bit off-putting to some people but we'll see what it's like from the middle first start from the middle yeah it is in the treble two 
two, two trebles from the middle. <laughs> now, it has a slightly strange feel, like I say, it's it's hard to describe. There's some parts of it when, when you're holding it, it kind of feels like you're throwing a square darts and then you're getting like the little bits of the edges. I think it's one of them unique grips that you're probably just going to have to try and if you like it you like it if you don't then another treble <laughs> and a treble five to go with that actually seems to be flying quite nice from the middle but <laughs> it's a straight barrel so it should work for any but it, like I say there's just a slight hint of non uniformness to the grip so that could be something that puts people off it's not that the grip isn't uniform obviously it is it's just that the way the grip is kind of like staggered in the corners oh, completely off on that one but I still managed to get a treble <laughs> a treble 12 <laughs> but it's definitely an interesting grip I think I'm going to enjoy throwing these darts and there's definitely something nice about it, but I'm not sure if I've completely made up my mind yet. <laughs> I think that's treble one. That's definitely treble one. And that isn't. Two treble ones, treble one champion. I think holding it there on the rear though, Obviously, there's nothing behind my grip there, except like the smooth part. So I'm really just getting the effect of the, the last like corner bits. I keep calling them corner bits because that's the only thing I can think to describe them as. But them two actually flew quite nice through the air. That one went a bit wild, as you can see. But for natural rear grippers, I think it'll be fine. Treble five. Yeah, unusual, but there's something nice about it. And I think it's just one of them darts that you're probably just gonna have to try and see whether it's something you like, but I definitely don't think it's as aggressive as it looks. So if you're worried about that, then probably not to worry. But again, that could be something that feels different to other people, but I have a little idea what I'll show you just now, how you might get an idea of how the grip feels. Oh, typical that treble five, two treble twenties. Yeah, well, <laughs> so there you go. That's the unicorn ballista. Like I say, it's an unusual grip, so it may be just one of them ones that you've got to try to find out whether it suits you or not. I actually quite like it the more I've played with it, but I did say. I have a way that you might be able to get an idea of what the grip is like. So if you've got like a bolt and a load of nuts, just put the nuts on the bolt and then stagger the nuts and it might work better if you've got a longer board bolt, but then just 
rub your finger along like the corners and that kind of is how it feels but um don't think these nuts that i've got are the best kind because they're kind of like chamfered but if you've got some like square edge nuts you'd be better so i'll see if i can get you a close-up of that so i don't know if you can see that i'll have to have a look around the back of the camera to see but that's kind of like what i mean i haven't got the light on this side so let's pull the light back a bit but if you do something like that then that might give you an idea of what the grip feels like so it is quite close to that but i'd say the dart is a little bit more sharper so if you've got nuts that are a little bit more square edged you'll get close to the feel <laughs> if you've got square edged nuts <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> Rocky, where's me nuts? <laughs> That's an old one that you'll have to go back in a few videos to, to see the joke in that one. But yeah, I think it's quite a unique dart and I do like unique barrels. It may not be for everyone, but I actually quite like them. So I'm going to play with them for longer and see whether or not it's one of them ones that becomes a favorite. I suspect it will just for the fact that it's different. So I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And I'll see you on the next one. Happy darting.